Welcome to Better Picks in just a few clicks. Today we're gonna to look at short lighting versus broad lighting. Let's take a look. Lighting. Go ahead and start to move a little more this way with your body and you'll turn your head towards me. A good portrait isn't gonna be necessarily straight on. In fact, most of the time we want the model to be off to the side a little bit and turning their head. We see the light is coming off to the side. Cast a nice light onto Starla's face. But that is further from the camera. Starla, go ahead and turn and look a little more this direction. And now she's gonna turn a little more towards the camera with your eyes. There you go. And a little more with your head too, right there. So now the, side, the further side of her face is now being more short lit. Now I could do two different things. I could make it broad lighting by actually physically moving the light to the other side, or I could actually have the model completely turn the scene, flip the scene. So Starla, go ahead and turn this way. Yep. And then she'll look towards me this way. Now the closer side of the face is actually getting broad lit. Looking right here, and there. Now these are using a one light setup. I'm only using my uh, beauty dish setup here, which is a round setup, which helps give a roundness in the uh, catch light of the eyes, which is very natural like the sun. Uh, but I'm gonna add in a reflector to kind of change some of that tone. So staying right there, Starla, we're gonna bring in a reflector. Now you could bring in a different light as well. What I'm using here is just a very large, uh, about a five and a half foot, six foot reflector to bounce in light to change the shadow. So it's not quite as dramatic. You'll see the difference there on Charlotte's face. It does make a difference as the light reflects onto the face. Lighting the close side, the broad side face. And let's go ahead and flip around for the short light, Starla, facing your feet towards the camera, or towards the light, sorry. Yep, and looking right here, and now more the short style lighting. And looking more off to this side, I'm going to change a little more direction. As you change your light a little bit, it can change some of the style of how dramatic or how intense that short light or broad lighting is. It's not all the way 90 degree angle from me to the camera. Yeah, I like to go about 60 to 50 degree angle, somewhere in between. It's not straight flat for the camera. It's not all the way to the side. It's somewhere in between, and you have some variation uh, as photographer choice, looking right here. And one, two, and three. There we go. So short lighting, broad lighting. Why does it make a difference? Depending if you want to add a little more drama, you want to actually, with a broad lighting, light the person so it's easy to recognize them as this is so-and-so, where short lighting is a little more uh, dramatic, there's more shadow, uh, and it does help to slenderize the face and gives a very attractive portrait as well. Thanks for watching Better Picks in just a few clicks. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos on how to take your photography to the next level.